I'm excited about an estimate in this neighborhood. They're cookie cutter yards. It looks like they all have one, maybe two trees in the yard. This is the new subdivision. This is the old one with more trees. This subdivision was built in the 50s and I guess they didn't have foresight about all of these oak trees because a lot of them are buckling houses, the foundations, the sidewalks, a lot of power outages when the wind blows, lots of debris to clean up, a lot. But for that same reason, all of the trees people find this neighborhood attractive and they want to move here especially young couples but for me it's not paying with yard work so we're off to the new subdivision one advantage of this old neighborhood is a lot of cleanup during fall and winter The leaves fall till almost February, but if I can get in that new neighborhood, maybe I can save up for enough winter. It's time to make it easier for myself. We are in the new subdivision, and they have speed humps. Looks like every hundred yards. Look at the flood. I'd say that yard floods. Okay, this is looking good. We're losing the huge trees. As you can see, there's no big canopies here. So that's good. And the yards are smaller. Getting closer, a lot of turns. This is one of the yards. Can't see the backyard. Pretty basic. Maybe I should go under 40. That's not big at all. There's a couple of strips and we're done. Nice little neat neighborhood. That's it right here. Not much to it. I think I'm going to go 35. The yards are right next to each other. Well, I'm a couple of houses apart. It's a mother and daughter. Let me do that right now. I love speed humps. Back in the lush old neighborhood. Well, I got her mother's yard weekly for $30 a week. Her yard, I'm unclear. I think I got it, but I didn't want to bombard her too much. She has health issues. And, you know, this could be temporary, who knows, but for 12 weeks, it's more income. That's how I see it.